Hey there, Eli coming at you again from OSA Coventry here today in front of the saltwater section. It is the first week of May and we just got in a decent saltwater fish shipment. So I was hoping to show that off for you guys. If you are in the market for any new saltwater fishes, we do have a whole bunch of different options. Some things that have been here a couple weeks and some brand new stuff that just came in this week. So without further ado, we're gonna go through all these tanks and check out what we got. Alrighty, this first tank here has some fish that have been here a little while now. It's got a beautiful little Scopus tang a tomato clownfish, a sergeant major damsel. It's also got a couple new fish in it as well. There's a Aptasia eating phyla fish that we just got in and a leopard rock bunny, which is a really pretty bunny, but one of the only ones that I know that is not necessarily reef safe. These guys are actually known for eating SPS polyps. So that is something to keep in mind if you decide to grab one of these, but it's a really pretty fish nonetheless. This next 40 gallon here only has a small handful of fish as well, but it's got a beautiful Desjardini sail fin that's probably within three or four inches in length. There's also also a rose bunny in this tank which is very similar to your algae bunny there's a lunar wrasse that's been here a little while and another one of those aptasia eating file fish this next tank here has some beautiful fish in it as well there's a beautiful uh, juvenile emperor angelfish that has not quite started its transition yet there's a diamond goby big pink spot watchman goby there is a bicolor blenny in this tank also an orange spot rabbit fish that we've had for a little while, a handful of retrochromus, which are kind of a cool damsel that are a little more peaceful than most of your others and something that you don't see very often. We've also got a beautiful yellow band possum wrasse in this tank as well, which is a beautiful small species of wrasse. Super shy, can be a little bit too timid in certain tanks, but for a smaller peaceful community saltwater tank would be a great option and a great flatworm or other pest eater. There's a beautiful clown tang. This tank also has a really cool filamentous flasher wrasse, which is a pretty species of fairy wrasse. There's also a six bar wrasse that's been here a little while, a handful of small springers damsels, another great flatworm or pest eater, and pretty peaceful when it comes to damsels. There are also a few gobies, a diamond, a randall shrimp goby, and a bicolor blenny in this tank as well. This next tank up here has some tiger watchman gobies that are kind of small right now, but a great sand sifting goby. There's also a yellow watchman goby in this tank, in addition to a diamond goby. There are a handful of yellow chorus wrasse in this tank as well, but they're being a little shy at the moment since the lights just turned on. In addition, there's an idly angelfish. This is one of the centripede or dwarf angels, really cool specimen, something that you don't see all the time, gets those beautiful orange stripes and a really nice powder blue tang that's probably about three to four inches in length. This next tank still has a few fish that have been here at least a couple weeks. There's a handful of scissor tail dark fish. There's also a couple blue chromas that have been here a few weeks, handful of red scooter blennies down bottom. And in addition, there are some new fish in here as well. There's a beautiful Valentini puffer. There is a really nice Scopus tang. There also happens to be an adorned wrasse, which is one of the uh, Halicorus species of wrasse, kind of like a Melanurus that's been here for a few weeks as well. This next tank also has one of those adorned wrasses that has been here for a little bit now. In addition, there are some zebra bar gobies. If you didn't check out my video that we posted this last week about those guys, definitely check them out. They're a really cool, peaceful fish for a smaller community tank. There also happens to be a lemon peel mimic tang that's been here a few weeks, a beautiful dog face puffer that we just got in, and a really nice yellow belly hippo tang that is on the large side. Additionally, there are a couple more wrasses. There's a green bird wrasse that's being shy at the moment, and it looks like a melanurus wrasse as well and a beautiful little flame hawkfish. This next tank has a handful of Allen's damsels or electric blue damsels. These are really cool metallic blue damselfish that stay pretty small, good addition to a lot of your tanks and a really cool pop of color. There's also another small flame hawkfish in here, a few gobies on the bottom, a wheeler's goby and a yellow watchman. There's also a really pretty copper band butterfly fish in here. There's also a two barred rabbit fish in this tank as well that's been here at least a month now and a beautiful female swallowtail angelfish. Up next, this tank has another stunning copper band butterfly fish. There's also a pair of blue jawed trigger fish, which is a great addition for a lot of your reef tanks. These are actually one of the only reef safe trigger fish. There's a beautiful white tail bristle tooth tang, really nice specimen, probably three inches or so great coloration. In addition, there's a majestic angelfish and it's been quite a while since I've seen one of those here. Definitely a treat to be able to see one of those and a three spot chorus wrasse that's been here for a few weeks. Next up, this tank has a small grouping of damsels as well. These happen to be coupangs, which are also not too terribly aggressive for the damsel fish. There's a diamond goby in this tank as well and a smaller Desjardini sailfin tang. Tank also happens to have a bicolor blenny, an algae blenny. There's a vlamingi tang that's been here for a few weeks. Another copper band butterfly fish. 
a couple wrasses. One is this banner wrass in the center here. That's something that I haven't personally seen yet. And uh, Diana's hogfish, which is another pretty cool reef safe with caution hogfish. Additionally, there's another small flame hogfish in this tank as well. This next tank up here has some stunning larger fish in it. There's another one of those yellow belly hippo tangs. It's a little smaller than the last one. Really nice fish there. Beautiful coloration. There's also a one spot fox face in this tank, a really small flame angelfish that would be a great addition to a reef tank. There's also a paddlefin wrasse, and as much as this guy's already spoken for, he's really a cool fish to take a look at. Uh, really neat coloration and a funny way in which he swims, so definitely worth taking a look at. This tank also has a smaller dog face puffer. It looks like a, a striped dog face and a diamond goby. We've got a beautiful school of green chromis. These are a little bit bigger than the ones that you saw in that other tank there and got great coloration to them. There's also another Scopus tang. That's quite a nice one at that. There's a long nose hawk in this tank and a Timor wrasse that have been here for a few weeks now. In addition, there is a smaller hippo tang, a beautiful Valentini puffer fish. Looks like there's a diamond goby and a yellow watchman goby down bottom. There's also an orchid dotty back and another one of those possum wrasses that I showed you earlier. This next tank has some of the more aggressive offerings that we have here at the OSA currently. It's got a couple of groupers that have been here quite a while now. There's a miniatus grouper still and a smaller cherry grouper. In addition, there's a beautiful porcupine puffer fish that's been eating quite well for us. In addition to a clown trigger that's probably four inches or so in size. Last but not least, this tank down here has some pajama cardinals that have been here a while. A small flame fin to mini tang, one of the better bristle tooth tangs for algae control in most tanks, and they stay small enough to put in some of your smaller aquariums. There's also a couple citron gobies, a beautiful little flame hawkfish, another one of those Valentini puffer fish, and a really small snowflake moray eel that's been eaten quite well for us as well. So that about sums it up for the fish room, but we also did get a handful of new inverts in as well. So let's go check those out. This first tank here has a good handful of different starfish. There are some Linkia stars, a couple chocolate chip starfish. This also has some Nisarius snails, some turbo snails. There are a handful of leopard wrasses that have been here for a few weeks and they're eating decently well. There's also a tiger conch, which is a great sand sifting snail that would help keep the sand bed clean in some of your smaller aquariums. There is also a sand sifting starfish in this tank as well for that same purpose. This next tank here has a handful, and by a handful I mean about 50 or 60, peppermint shrimp, which are a great aptasia control if you do happen to run into those in your aquarium. Generally reef safe, but on occasion you hear stories of them nipping at corals, but generally do a great job at clearing up those aptasias. Trochus snails in this tank as well. There are a couple small orange spot watchman gobies that have been here a little while. Tiger pistol shrimp if you were looking to pair one of those up with a goby. There's also a sand sifting starfish and another one of those tiger conks down here, as well as a green mandarin. Cool, this next tank here has some captive bred seahorses. I think there are three left, but these guys are eating quite well for us and doing pretty well. There's also a pipefish in this tank. This is a green or sometimes known as an alligator pipefish. Really cool, a uh, weird animal for a peaceful smaller aquarium. Definitely not the most beginner friendly fish though. In addition to those, we have a handful of inverts up top. There are some pincushion urchins a bunch of turbo snails, some more tiger conks. There's a pair of harlequin shrimp up here as well, which are great control for pest starfish like Astorinas if you have those in your tank. There's uh, another mandarin goby up top. And this tank also has red fromia starfish as well. Next up, this tank has some flame scallops that have been here quite a while. It also has some skunk cleaner shrimp, bunch of astrea snails, has another mandarin dragon net, a sand sifting starfish, another Tiger pistol shrimp in this tank, also a tiger conch to sip the sand. And this tank also has a handful of hermit crabs in it as well, but most are not necessarily reef safe. This next tank here also has some starfish in it. It's got some orange linkias again. It's got a sand sifting starfish. In addition to a bunch of turbo snails, a beautiful pink and black sea cucumber, another cool sand sifting animal. There are some fire shrimp in this tank, as well as a couple pencil urchins that have been here a little while. And this tank also has another one of those tiger conks. Last but not least, this tank has some emerald crabs, great bubble algae control, another one of those mandarin dragonettes. There are a small handful of scarlet reef hermits, which happen to be one of the best uh, reef safe hair algae eaten options out there. There are some trochus snails as well that have been here a little while. Another one of those sand sifting starfish, a tiger pistol shrimp, and a handful of camel shrimp. 
that about wraps it up for the inverts. Uh, we did also bring in a whole bunch of well-aged established live rock from our farm. We've probably got a few hundred pounds of that available if that's something that you are looking to add to a tank. Great thing to cycle or start a tank with as well if you were looking to do so. As always, thank you guys for tuning in and keep on reefing.